20. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system. Sound suppression activated. water system activated. Yeah. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, three main engines three, up and burning. Two, two one. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. World program here. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is underway. Atlantis is heading into a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. On the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Already seven miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of five miles. Engines now at 72 percent beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. Seconds into the plane, the three liquid fueled engines Copy, are back go at throttle up. Throttle. All three liquid fueled engines and are back at full throttle. Shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has minute been twenty seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. The electricity producing fuel cells also in excellent shape as Atlantis heads solid, down range. Solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant every second. Miles. Coming up on uh, 1 minute 45 seconds. The next standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles down range. All three engines are still performing as expected. SRB separation and staging confirmed. SRB separation is confirmed. Two minutes. All three electrically producing fuel cells are uh, operating as expected, as are the hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units. Altitude 35 miles. Two orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of uh, Atlantis now assisting with uh, the ascent performance. Those engines will burn for a little less than three minutes. Heading off toward the International Space Station. Two minutes, 45 seconds, Atlantis, 61 miles from the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis, Houston, two-engine Maroon. Copy, two-engine Maroon. Atlantis can reach Maroon in Spain in the event of a single-engine failure. However, all three are still uh, operating as expected. Atlantis, Houston, for Brent, high-load duct heater to Alpha slash Bravo. engines are continuing to perform as expected. High-load duct heater, Alpha slash Bravo. Good copy, and we're seeing some ice in the high load fest. The electricity for the vehicle. Three minutes, we'll watch it. Twenty seconds into the that flight. call relating Atlantis to the flash of operator system of, of one of the uh, auxiliary power six units. Six However, they're all working uh, properly. Three and a half Huge minutes into the, the launch, 108 the miles downrange from the Kennedy the Space Center. Atlantis still performing as expected, 54 miles in altitude or 293,000 feet. Now traveling 4,400 miles per hour. Voyage to the International Space Station. Three minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, Houston, negative return. Atlantis, Atlantis can no longer return, return to the Kennedy, Kennedy Space Center, Center now in the event of an engine failure, failure. however, all three are in excellent well, shape. As are the hydraulic Flight control team is continuing to evaluating the flash of apparator system. L1, fast fry alpha to off, Atlantis back to GPC. Miles down range from the launch site at okay, we'll cycle fast fry off, then back to GPC. Good copy. That to... Uh,
And that to cycle the flash evaporator system again. All auxiliary power units uh, still the working fine, system as are the electricity producing fuel cells. It heads toward the International Space Station. Four minutes, 45 that seconds into the launch. Wrap up in the next Atlantis is at an altitude so. of 65 statute miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 225 miles, traveling 7,000 miles per hour. Uh, Rick Sterko in the forward left seat. Lee Archambault in the uh, forward right seat, Pat Forrester, the flight engineer between them, Steve Swanson serving as mission specialist. Discussions on the flight loop uh, relative two. to the flash evaporator system, the suspect uh, a little bit of water in that unit, uh, but Anderson all continues to work to the uh, smoothly Station otherwise. To replace Sonny Williams. Five minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis, press to ATO. Copy, Houston, press to ATO. Atlantis, Houston, minutes, press to ATO, the select Istra. Two engines now, should one fail. However, press to ATO, still performing as planned. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines, should one fail now. Again, all three Atlantis, still working Houston, fine. Single engine, single engine ops, three. ops three. Copy, single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. Five minutes, 55 seconds. Approaching into the six flight. minutes into the flight. Atlantis beginning to roll to a heads up position. The onboard Atlantis is now rolling to a heads up position. Toward the International Space Station. Traveling 9,400 miles per hour, 352,000 feet in altitude, or 66 Atlantis. miles. Downrange from the launch site, 390 miles. A little less than two and a half minutes of powered flight uh, remaining. All systems still uh, operating as expected. That call, uh, means that Atlantis can reach Zaragoza in Spain on one engine. Press to Miko. Atlantis Houston, press to Miko, and we're seeing good cooling on Fast Pry Alpha. And that call uh, indicates Atlantis can Copy, reach a safe uh, orbit on two engines now. All three can. That call means that Atlantis expected. can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. Again, all three are still uh, working fine. Go for the pitch. Copy Houston, nominal shutdown. And Houston, we see a nominal shutdown plan. Atlantis Houston, we so concur. Your shutdown plan is nominal. Your go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Swimming pool in 25 seconds. Copy. Nominal shutdown. Go plus X, go pitch. Atlantis. Good copy. Press, and you are single engine press 104. Copy Houston. Single engine press. Single engine press 104. That call from Tony. Seven Antonelli minutes 20 Anderson seconds into the flight, Atlantis, Atlantis can reach orbit on one engine one now. Should two fail again, all three all still three in good shape. Still performing as expected. The uh, call from minutes, astronaut Tony Antonelli here in the flight control room: Atlantis a nominal shutdown plan means that uh, all of the uh, scheduled activities post uh, main engine miles. cutoff are Alpha as expected. Miles. To uh, photograph the external tank as it falls away from the orbiter. Awaiting Atlantis's arrival, and with great anticipation, is the Expedition 15 crew. Brent Jett the uh, in the forward uh, left Fyodor, seat. Chris Ferguson, Ferguson, the pilot of the mission, in the forward right Williams, seat. Dan Burbank between them and behind them. And uh, Canadian astronaut Steve McLean uh, behind uh, pilot Chris Ferguson. Eight minutes Down on the, the mid-deck, Joe the Tanner closest to the side hatch the of the orbiter, the and uh, Heidi uh, Stephanish and Piper in the, uh, down on the mid-deck with the Tanner. Engine cut off confirmation from the booster officer here in mission control. Engines beginning to throttle back to lessen the uh, aerodynamic loads on the vehicle as it approaches uh, main engine cutoff. Standing by for that call. And main engine, engine cutoff has confirmed. been confirmed. Eight minutes, 35 seconds into the flight. ET separation confirmed. Separation Atlantis now uh, off of the external tank. The uh, Commander uh, Brent Jett will fire the uh, pulse the engines on Atlantis to position it for uh, photography of the tank as it falls out. away. Beautiful view of Atlantis as it uh, falls away from the tank. You can Atlantis see the jets firing uh, those reaction control system jets to position the orbiter. Atlantis Houston, the, uh, nominal Miko, OMS-1 is not required, and no action on the cabin DPDT. Nominal Miko, OMS-1 not required, and no action on the DPDT. Thanks, Houston. Special specialist Pat Forrester will be...